What's your favorite curse word? How about your favorite curse phrase? Yeah, you can use it when you find something like this. You've uninstalled all your mods. You do the report in JSGME and it starts popping all these different files at you. They're all supposed to say the same. Guess what? You have Captain Layman's Fatal Disease Mod Soup. Well, there's only one fix for it. You can't just look at it. Close that out. Damage is done. Close that out. The damage is done. So now, don't worry about that. That's just a, an Ubuntu thing. What you need to do is go into your game directory. This is a TMO installation. You need to delete everything in there. What I do is I camouflage it all, hold the control key down, uh, click on mods, hit the delete key, and delete all of it. You're deleting everything but the mods directory. And of course we have a file access problem here, which we'll fix shortly. As soon as I figure out what the cause of it is, skip it all. Skip it all. Just skip it all and see how much damage there is. Skip it all. See, we got some messed up files in there, don't we? So now we will manually delete each one by itself. Hit the delete key. Adios. Click on resources. Hit the delete key. Adios. Now the only thing left in your game directory is mods. How are we going to restore it? Well, do you remember that directory we set up uh, two videos ago? The Silent Hunter 4 pristine directory? Well, that's where we're going right now, our lock box. And you can see the lock on it right there, SH4 Pristine. And we are going to copy the whole shooting match and just drop it into our TMO directory. So we just copied it. And now we're going to go to the TMO directory. And we're going to drop the whole blasted thing in there. Let's see how long that takes. Now remember, the alternative here is to reinstall from scratch. What we're going to do is not instantaneous, but two minutes worth of pleasure in comparison to what it would take to reinstall the game. Remember when a piece of software is installed, it's not installed into uh, any given uh, configuration. This is installed in the registry. You can delete all the files, restore the files, and the registry is unchanged, so therefore it'll run. We're taking advantage of that. As usual, I'm going to do the pause routine here because otherwise you would be more bored than you really are. I want you to be less bored than you really are, so here we are at the tail end of it. Counting down from 12 seconds. Don't do it. Progress bars lie. Much more honest in Linux than they are in Windows, though. And boom! There they all are. Now you have to remember when you do that, that there are certain things we have to do here. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on a directory, choose properties, go into permissions. There we go. Waiting for it to finish counting. And we're going to remember we locked it up. We're going to unlock that, go to the enclosed files, and set those to read and write on both access and uh, folders and files, and press change. And we are basically ready to play. What's the first thing you do here? Test the basic installation before you start installing mods. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. But if you remember, there were things we did that you have to do again. First thing we have to do is we have to go to multi SH4. And we'll set that directory to TMO instead of SH4. And it's all ready to go. Then we gotta go to large address aware. Because it's a brand new file now remember. And we'll find our directory which is sh4 tmo and sh4 exe so that is the correct one clicked for more than two gigabytes of memory and 
press save. Notice on the bottom status bar it says this update has been performed successfully. You're done. Now we go to JSGME. And we're going to install. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to. Well, notice first of all, if we try to generate the snapshot, our old snapshot is still there. So now we're not going to replace it. Let's compare what we just did with the old snapshot and see if we get all those different things that was blasting at us before. And we'll hit the pause button so you're not as bored as you really are. Here we are at the end of the process. Time warp. It's a wonderful thing. And our report will be up in just a second. Several seconds. There you go. All those files are the same. There are no differences. So we have to, we have confirmed that we totally restored Silent Hunter 4. Now what? Well, now you realize our problem could be in the mods themselves. Let's start up the stock game and make sure it runs. One step at a time, don't skip any steps, and you'll find your problems. You start skipping steps, and then your problem becomes a two-variable equation, and you can't solve a two-variable equation with a single solution. Here we are. We'll just start up a career here, and zip right through all the options real fast. We just want to ensure that it plays. Look at that. Stock game right there. And they're at the we're at our desk. Go go go. And we'll pause again because we can. Restart. And the game plays. Alright, we can exit now and install our mods. That way if it works now. And it doesn't work later, then we just have to go grab the mods again. We have to re-download them. But this has told us that so far we're golden. So let's go back to JSGME. What are you doing? There you go. That's better. Install Trigger Maro. Notice in Linux that when a window is very busy and it's not accepting input, it grays out. It's very helpful. We'll pause just so you won't be as bored as you really are. And we're done with that. Install the small patch. Yes, indeedy. And now let's try the game. And obviously, TMO installed just fine. We'll go ahead and uh, do the same thing we did last time. We'll start up a campaign, zip through all the options as quickly as we can, and just make sure that the boat initializes and we start playing the game. At that point, we'll declare success. Get out there. Now imagine going through all the hassle of reinstallation. Isn't this a lot quicker? Is that what you want to do next time? Because you will get mod soup. I guarantee it. So this is Rockin' Robbins, and uh, it's time to sign off. Look, the fans are working. It's time to sign off, and uh, smooth sailing. There's TMO Bright Blue Water. Yes, sir, it's, uh, it's working perfect. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.